at this point you already know how you can define a specific location on the grid for each of your grid items by specifically defining the rows and columns where it should be. Now in this lecture we're going to look at the order property which works exactly the same way it does in Flexbox if you know about that specification. So that also allows you to decouple the actual layout or representation from the HTML markup. So no matter what the order of the elements in the markup is, you can still change that in the layout. Of course you can do that by explicitly defining the rows and columns for each item, but you can also do it relatively to the other items. So let's say for example that item 6 here, the last one, should actually be displayed at the very first position on the grid. In that case we can target first of all the sixth child in the grid and then just use order. Now the default value for order is zero. So implicitly each of the items already has order zero. So setting this to zero of course doesn't change the order of elements here. But now if I set this to minus one for example, then at that point the order of item six is going to be lower than of all the other items because they're all still at the default value zero. And similarly, if I want to have, let's say the third item at the end of the grid, it's enough to just say order one because that's already more or higher than the order of all the other elements. So item three is now the last element in the grid. And then of course this way you can change the ordering of the elements relative to each other. So let's say that the second item should be behind this one. You can still set order to two or any number for that matter. So you can just order them in any way you want, but you should not overuse this in order to keep your layout and your website accessible for people who use tap to navigate or who use screen readers and so on. So you could have a completely different layout, um, completely independent of your HTML markup or might make it hard for screen readers for example, if the actual order of the elements in the HTML markup doesn't make any sense anymore. So be careful about that and always think about accessibility as well. Still having this so-called source order independence, so the decoupling between the actual layout and the order of the elements in the HTML is a very powerful tool. And you already know this maybe from Flexbox and in CSS grids, you can have completely decoupled layouts. All right, so I think this order property is fairly easy to use. If you do have any questions at any point while following along this course, please let me know in the Q&A section you can find at the bottom of the video. And for now, let's move on to the next lecture.